Microsoft is constantly releasing new features and updating its applications. It can be difficult to keep track of what's new. So what I do is monitor the Microsoft 365 roadmap. This month I found three new and interesting features and one that's coming soon. So stay to the end of the video so that you can find out what new feature is coming soon that a lot of us have been asking for for quite a while. So let's jump right in and talk about the new message vertical from office.com. Notice that there's a search bar at the top center of the screen. So I'm gonna type in a search term. And when it loads, you'll see that there are several results such as folders, SharePoint sites, OneNote, etc. If you wanna look for just messages from Teams and Outlook, you can use this message vertical. Now to be fully transparent, this did come out in a prior month, but there was a bug straight out of the gate. But now that the bug is fixed, I count this as a new feature. Now that we have the results, you can see the keyword Power Automate in the Teams message that I am a part of in the Power Automate Demos team. If the result is in Outlook, you will see who the email is from and where it was sent to. In this example, the email is from me to Power Automate Demos. Because this is a test environment, all the data has my name on it, but in your real work environment, some of the results are likely to come from your coworkers to you. Basically, if you are included anywhere in the message, it will appear here. The message tab or vertical significantly narrows down the search results, but you can use additional filters to fine tune your search. Click the type dropdown and you can choose to look at only Teams or only Outlook messages. Now click on the last modified filter. This lets you filter by a few preset date ranges or select a custom date range using the calendar picker. The next option we're going to look at is setting pronouns in Outlook or Teams. This one became available for targeted release back in March, but as of September 15th, it is available to all organizations who choose to turn it on. It's also important to know that this is for the web applications only. Pronouns are set from the contact card, which can be found by clicking your profile icon. Just below your name, there is a plus pronouns link. Click that to open the dialog box. You can type in whatever is appropriate for you or select one of the examples. Then click Save. After that, click Got It. Now, when anyone opens my contact card, they can see the pronouns I selected. I navigated to Teams so you can see it does not matter whether you choose to update in Teams or Outlook, the other app is automatically updated. If you don't see this option, it is because the feature is turned off by default and an admin must turn it on. Next, we're going to talk about using colored folders and SharePoint or OneDrive. Now this one I've been waiting for a while because my brain just likes to organize things by color. I'm going to demonstrate from OneDrive and you need to be in the My Files section in order to make the changes to the folders. Click on the three dots next to any folder and select Folder Color from the menu. Then select one of the available 16 colors. When you create a new folder from the Add New menu in the upper left-hand corner, the dialog box where you give the folder a name will also include the same 16 color choices. One best practice that I would share is if you are adding color to folders in SharePoint, it is a good idea to talk with key stakeholders so that everyone has a shared understanding of what the colors mean. For example, all my video folders are red because that is the color of the stream logo. However, red to my boss means this is something critical, pay attention to this folder. Now for the coming soon feature, personal plans are finally on the roadmap. The rollout is scheduled to begin in October of 2023, but please keep in mind that the dates that Microsoft publishes sometimes get pushed back. Currently, all plans belong to a Microsoft 365 group, so all members of the group are also members of the plan. When this feature is released, you will be able to pick a personal plan tied to a user container. This means that you will be the only member and owner of the plan. This is good news for those of us who have been asking for this feature for a while. If you wanna brush up on your planner skills, check out the video that's on the screen now, and I'll see you over there.